up, folks? It's Big Boy here in South Carolina at BKFC 42, and I'm standing with our winner tonight, undefeated bare knuckle fighter, Keith Richardson. Keith, listen, you had a bunch of opponent changes in this fight, yet you stayed focused, you came out and brought it, set the pace. Tell us, what kind of emotions did you go through changing all these opponents the past weeks? Um, everybody knows I'm the underpaid assassin, freaking just get a warm body in front of me and uh, I'll do my best to drop him cold. Yeah, you know, you came out tonight, you set that pace. Was that your game plan coming in here to overwhelm your opponent? Um, yeah, I, I think with my um, just viciousness, my pressure, my technical expertise, I think I was going to shock him early and uh, try to get him out there, out of there. Um, I wanted to leave the fight looking a lot better than I did last time. <laughs> now, uh, take, take a few uh, less stitches and... Uh, Let's punch us to the face. Yeah, now let's talk a little bit about your weight cut. I know that there were some discrepancies a couple times you changed the opponent. You had to change your weight again. But what weight class are, do you want to focus on, and what did you fight on tonight? Um, I'm generally a bantamweight fighter. Like, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult cut, but it's the right cut. It's the right fit for me. Uh, I think I performed best there. You know, I was, re I was ready to uh, fight at bantamweight this fight. And then uh, I think Wednesday we went up changing the, oppo uh, changing the opponent for the fifth or sixth time. Uh, they said 145. I was like, let's do it. Get somebody in front of me. Uh, and, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll scrap. Yeah, you know, I want to keep the fight going. Now, talk us a little bit through that win and talk us, like, how, what were you looking for and what did you see that, you, that made you capitalize on that? Um, you know, I just know my movement, my, uh, my controlled pressure. I don't come in there and just brawl, but I'm always in your face. I, you know, I try to stay always in range but always at a range like this little uh wet blanket kind of pressure and stuff like that where you're always like this much for, this close to hitting me and then I, I, every time i want to touch you i touch you like yeah you know, my last fight i had somebody that moved around just just about as good as me you know between me and this got me and scoggins so we both got hit like you know both of us you know pride ourselves on movement and we both like lumped each other up yeah, no, you looked great tonight. You did good in there. I love the way you set that pace. I'm very excited for you, especially in that bantam weight weight class. I think you're gonna make things a little. You're gonna, you know, shake the house up a little bit. What's next for you, Keith? And if you had to pick two opponents in your future, who would they be? Um, you know, I've never been the type of guy to call guys out. You know, it's just not my, it's just not my style, not my uh, thing. Um, you know, you know, but at this point, like, you know, I'm in a career, like, you know. I, uh, I had, I've, I, I love BKFC. I've had to, I almost had to come to BKFC because in MMA guys were guys were running from me. Um, so really, I, I'm I'm looking I'm looking to eventually put myself in, in the title picture. If you're not if you're not looking to be the champ, I don't know why you're fighting. Like, yeah, you know, you're, you're like you know you could be fighting for fun or paycheck, but I I, I do this because I also want to like I do this because I have to do this, but I also do this because I want to be the best at it. Yeah, no, you definitely looked great tonight. You're definitely shaking up that top five in that division, and I see big things for you. Any friends, sponsors, or family you'd like to thank? Um, yeah, like, you know, for, I always got to thank my Modern Warrior family. Um, you know, one of our big things is one team, one family. They're always here supporting me. Like, we just put such great work in the gym, such good energy. Um, you know, I've got some great sponsors. I always want to thank my, uh, my fellow Marines, like, you know, that's 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 a big reason why I got into the sport. You know, I was dealing with PTSD, but I knew this in MMA would make them proud. Like guys, literally gave their lives, like to save mine. So like, I always wanted uh, guard dog, body armor, Richardson Rescue, my parent, my parent, uh, well, my mother's um, animal rescue, um, rock, uh, um, Palmetto Physical Medicine, uh, chiropractic. Um, Wayne uh, Three's uh, meal preps, uh, Southern equipment. Uh, yeah, I, I, like nobody does this sport alone. Um, yeah, you got you got to have good people behind you, and I've always been blessed like that. Folks, you heard it from our winner tonight here in South Carolina. Keith Richardson uses this sport as an outlet, pushes hard, is focused on that weight division bantamweight, and he's coming back for more wins. This is Big Boy with Bare Knuckle News. No one beats us to the punch.